Hi, this is Igor. I am really excited to show you some experiments I've been doing integrating GPT and Resolve. And unless you've been living under a rock over the last six months, you have heard of GPT. This will be a series of short videos, and in each one of the videos I will show you one GPT Resolve integration. The first one will be a virtual Resolve Assistant thinking about showing you some image generation and resolve as well as making fusion nodes using natural language to describe the comp that you want to build. I will go to workspace scripts AI and I have this resolve virtual assistant. My thinking here is to have this information available at your fingertips in resolve. So instead of going to Facebook, instead of going to uh, black magic forum, lift gamma gain, you can ask a question right here. So let's start with something simple. And those could be questions about very specific things and they can be kind of general questions, but they have to be about resolve. Let's try with something very specific. How do I uh, place a cut? A blade tool, okay. Uh, click on a clip, you can use the keyboard shortcut B. Uh, is it B or it's control or command B? I can't remember now because I have that mapped to uh, Wacom tablets, so I actually don't really use the keyboard for that, but uh, it's either correct or it's almost correct. So as you know, if you've used ChatGPT, it will come up with wrong answers sometimes, so you have to be, you have to be careful. Let's try to ask something more general. So what's the cut page? Oops, that's not a question mark, but I think it will still understand that. The cut page is a specialized workspace focus on fast, simple editing. That's all pretty factual. Let's ask something that very often comes up on the Facebook groups. Uh, why can't... Unfortunately, ProRes Export is not supported on Windows version licensing restrictions. So this is all true. Cool, very good. How about we get an actual question from one of the Facebook groups? So here's the Vinci Resolve group. So I'll copy that and paste it here. The question is, why is Handbrake doing a better job encoding H.265 than Resolve? I'm not aware of any specific reason. Let's see, it could be worse. Uh, more control over transcoding process, or maybe better optimized. So, I mean, that's that's a pretty reasonable answer. Now, I mentioned that questions have to be resolve specific. So if we try saying it's completely resolve unrelated. Uh, I'm not able to provide information on the well-being of Bruce Lee. Uh, and as far as I know, he is uh, he's died a long time ago. But OK, so let's try to kind of sneak in a question that's sort of resolve uh, oriented. Let's ask it, uh, has he ever used resolve? He passed in 1973, DaVinci Resolve was not yet developed. So, okay, cool. But let's see, what about Peter Chamberlain? Let's see who is Peter. Ch the product manager for DaVinci Resolve. He's responsible for overseeing. Uh, this is all factual. So, but uh, let's see, how about this? Uh, does he like beer? Oh. No information on his personal preferences or tastes that is not related to his role as product manager for DaVinci Resolve. So uh, the, the chatbot is really staying on topic. It's not really going astray. No information on how much beer, if any, is consumed during the development of DaVinci Resolve. However, it's safe to assume that the focus of the development team is on creating a powerful and reliable post-production tool rather than on alcohol consumption. <laughs> this is great. I love it. That's the, uh, that's the helpful uh, DaVinci Resolve help bot. Let me know in the comments if you think this is useful and what else you'd like to see. And stay tuned for the following demos that will be even more exciting than this one. Thanks for watching.